Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and it's time to take all our flight and space parts and turn them into an airport. So let's get cracking. All right, friends. So the first step is to hit create new design. When this opens, we are going to make a modification so that we've got more space to play with. It's really simple, but I want you to hit edit grid and I need you to take this and change it to 500 by 500. The only way I can make this work is by clicking, backspacing, and then typing the 500 and hitting update grid so we've got much more area to play with. The next step is to name it airport and make sure you put your name after it. I've done this once or twice so I'm going to call mine airport MDH3. Now we're going to build our airport with a lot of parts that we've built in code blocks. If you're missing any of these, they will be in the cards above. I will also have them in the description of the video. Let me show you how to find them. When you click your creations, if you've done the lessons, they'll be there. So the first one that I want to bring in is my tower. Once again, if you don't have that, you'll have to go back and create that lesson. Look the cards. I also want you to bring in the building because we're going to use that. I want you to bring in the jet body. Notice it does take a second for these to load. Do be patient. I have also got other shapes that I don't see that I'm looking for, like I've got a runway I've got built, so I'm going to go find that. Once again, hit more shapes. There's my runway, and I also want this small airplane. Now you probably don't have this part. Let me show you real quickly how I got this cute little airplane as soon as it actually drops in like it's supposed to. Here we go. Let's be patient. Three, two, one. There is the shape. So friends, these were created in code blocks. This one is our original jet, but I modified my jet. Let me show you how to get it. So the first step is just to open a brand new tab. In that new tab, I'm gonna launch Tinkercad a second time. So I've got two Tinkercads running. I don't know if you knew you could do this, but you can. All right, friends, so when you find your designs, I want you to find the original jet we made in class. This should be your first lesson. Yours probably won't have all the cool wheels and stuff. I had three extra videos and that's how mine got to this level. If yours doesn't have those, it's fine. Whichever version you have, we'll go with. If you wanna make the cool extra stuff, just make sure you check the cards or the description for all the other things that we added to our airplane. So you'll notice I deleted the canopy or I hid the canopy. That's because if you use these as a part, you lose transparency. So I wanna add that later. What I do is I grab my entire part. I'm gonna go back to the My Creations and I'm gonna create a shape with this cool jet. Now the colors all have to stay the same so I had to have that all planned ahead. I'm gonna call it Jet and I'll put Jet 1 and then this will take a second to load. When it does, I can save the shape. And because it was complex, if I had a bunch of these in my main Tinkercad project, it would slow it down. But because I am making the jet and saving it as a shape, then I can bring it into Tinkercad and it won't slow Tinkercad down so much. So this is all I do. Do not lock the shape, hit save shape. And now when I return to my Tinkercad project, if we go back to your creations again, and then after a moment, I can't see it yet, but watch this, I can bring in my amazing jet. So friends, I really want my canopy that's transparent back on this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit fit view to zoom in on this shape. And then I'm gonna zoom in a couple more clicks with my mouse, cause I want the flat piece of this chair or the seat. When I set this on the flat piece, so then friends, I simply return to basic shapes and I want to bring out the bubble. When I put the work plane back on the ground, now that bubble is in the right place. I can stretch and adjust this so it looks just the way I want, pull it back, and I'm just using the black handles because that goes one direction at a time. And then when I turn on transparency, we can all of a sudden see in and we have the sweet canopy on our jet. Now do remember you can never group these, so if you are going to move this, you need to remember to grab the two shapes, pull it up, twist it, make it look cool, but those will not be connected, so you've always got to do them as a pair. I'm going to click separate, and I think I want that to have a gray canopy, which makes it look just a little more cool. 
Friends, let's use another technique to add cool wings to our jet airliner. What I want you to do is click on basic shapes and go down to shape generators. We want to switch to all and then I need you to click more shapes again and again and again until we find a special one called swept NASA, N-A-C-A. You're probably going to have to click about 13 times. Notice I'm clicking faster than they can draw. After you wait a second, they will refresh, and then we'll be able to see it. So I'm going to scroll back up and start watching them appear. I'm also going to remind you to click on the little star and save some. The curve text, the script text are super useful. Also, Carcassonne is a useful one. The Pro Gear is the red one. You should make it a favorite. Let's keep scrolling down and see if we can find the uh, Metafillet and then finally the Swept NASA. All right, friends, now that we got the wing, let's bring it out. Let's use Fit View to zoom in on it and we want to rotate it so that the front of the wing is going to match the plane. So if we stay close to the shape, it's real easy to get it to 90. And then we need to lay it down, which once again, stay in this circle, lay it down and get it to 90. You could also click the box and type negative 90. Notice I missed, <laughs> I'll do it again. Now it looks fantastic. Use the black handle to stretch it nice and long and then get it close to your airplane. We want two of these, so we're gonna do control D I'm going to use shift and the arrow keys to nudge it across. Notice that makes it go faster. And I'm going to flip it with this flip tool. I'm going to get it close to perfect. So I'm just going to do shift nudge to keep moving it out. I think that looks pretty cool. I'm going to make sure they're connected. If you look underneath, this one was not. So I'm going to bring that back so I'm sure it goes in. You can zoom and double check. And then I'm going to take those two and I'm going to shift select them and I'm going to group them. So now they are one piece. I'm going to grab those two shapes, click a line, and I'm going to make the body of the airplane the master. And let's choose center. All right, friends. So real quickly, we've got wings, but they stick through, which I don't really like. Watch this trickeration to fix it. First, I'm going to make this transparent so I can see in. Notice we don't have to trim much. We're going to do this with a sphere. I want you to take the sphere, and I'm going to tell you to make it 30, and I'm going to tell you to make it 10 by 10. Click the box, type the box, and then turn it into a hole. I'm going to move it over close to the shape, and I'm going to do control up to lift it up. So you can see that it is running into that shape back there. Notice I'm looking through the hole so that it's easier to find. And now I'm gonna just stretch it so that it runs into that shape just the way I want. So I'm just using the black handles. When I've got that one perfect, which I think that's gonna work really well, I'm gonna do Control D. Let's do some shift nudges to move to the other side and check it out. It's gonna trim that side just as well. So it's a little guess and check. See, this is poking out, so I'm going to back up just a little. That looks a little better. I'm going to check this side. That one was inside. So now that I've got those two pieces cool, I'm going to hide this. And you can see how I'm trimming about the same from each side. When we group that and then do show all to bring it back, you can see that that fits a lot cooler. I'm going to click on this solid and shut off transparency and bam, the wings fit just like you'd want. So I'm gonna grab just those two. Notice it says two shapes. And let's add our awesome engines as well. Once again, those are in our creations. If you didn't make the engine, you'll have to find it. I've got a lot of these, so I've gotta hit more shapes until mine show up. And I wanna hit more shapes again, and I'm trying to find my sweet jet engine. Once I've got it, I can bring it out. Remember, be patient while it's loading. And then you can almost instantly put your engines right where they belong. I'm going to take that engine and do Control D. 
use that magic shift nudge to move it over 10 times as fast. I'm gonna shift click those two engines and I'm gonna make them a group. And what's nice about that is now I can shift click the wings and I can do a line. And when I click on the wings, I can get those engines so they're centered. That, my friends, is a really slick jet airliner that you can add in just a few moments. I'm gonna hit group so it stays together. Friends, super quick bonus, we can add the windshield in here super fast by putting the work plane on that edge from your basic shapes, bringing out the half sphere. Remember, set it in the middle, stretch it all the way back. It should be somewhere around the 170 mark. Gently pull it out. You can fine tune this to 0.1 if you want. I'm gonna pull it a little bit that way and a little bit that way. And when it gets to the edge, don't forget to make it transparent. And now all of a sudden you've got windows that you can see through. Once again, never group these because you lose the transparency, but that's how easy it is to make custom glass windows in your Tinkercad jet. I'm gonna make mine tinted with a blue because I think it looks cool. And then click the work plane and put it back on the old blue line. And now I can put it wherever I want in my cool airport. Friends, the next piece I want you to understand is if you go back to your other Tinkercad tab, so we've got two of these, I want you to find your hot air balloon you made. Once again, I'm gonna search for balloon. You can probably find yours because you don't have as many lessons as I do. When I press enter, here is my hot air balloon. I'm gonna choose tinker this. And because I've got both lessons open, I can simply copy my awesome hot air balloon. I'm gonna press Control C on the keyboard. And when I move into my sweet airport project, I can simply hit Control V and it brings in my awesome hot air balloon ready to be added to the project. All right, friends, so now we've got the basics done and it's time for you to create your own amazing airport. Remember all these pieces you can duplicate, arrange, stretch, align however you want. You can also go back into the basic shapes, design starters, all these places to find cool things to add to your project to make the most incredible airport ever. Friends, you can look up an airport and try and mimic it. You can just make your own awesome design. But when you're done, I need an amazing screenshot of an amazing airport. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.